While many people enjoy living in the outback, it does come at a cost and it's a price some families are no longer willing to pay. In Mount Isa, thousand dollar power bills and exorbitant flight costs are forcing some families back to the coast, causing local businesses to call on the state government to step in. This Mount Isa mother is used to juggling family duties. There you go. But her cost of living has become too much to handle. We get good money, but the money that you get goes to all the bills. Like everything's doubled and you know, even tripled and yeah, just too expensive to live. The Ladigan family moved to Mount Isa from Brisbane a year ago for job opportunities. But they're already making plans to leave because it's costing them money. It went from um, 300 in Brisbane to 1800 in Mount Isa, so our power bill is just expensive. Households outside of the southeast corner are actually experiencing far higher uh, cost of living pressures. And in relation to Mount Isa, it's the third highest cost of any regional centre in the state. And it's not just families doing it tough. For instance, our last power bill was over $8,000 which compared to similar stores in, in North Queensland, uh, is nearly double. Guy Mears owns several businesses in town and says he's forced to pay more for staff too. He has to pay staff sometimes up to double what they might get uh, in Brisbane to retain the right people. In Mount Isa, there's just one electricity supplier, so no choice on power deals. And with temperatures approaching 40 degrees for months on end, the air conditioning is rarely off. Locals want politicians to act. I'm sure that the state government can do something about the cost of energy. Energy is huge. It's huge for industry. It's huge for community. But for some families, it's just too late. I like Mount Isa, but um, you know, I've been back and forth since 2009. So this is this will be the last last leg. No more. <laughs> Another blow for an outback town struggling to compete with the coast. Harriet Tatum, ABC News, Mount Isa.